The situations portrayed in this program are very dangerous. They have been performed by trained professionals in order to replicate worst case scenarios of real life hazards. Viewers should not, under any circumstances, attempt to replicate any of the situations presented in the program. Maybe. I think a little bit just more. Just another three feet. A little more. This is gonna be wild. It's gonna be good. Hurricanes cause $10 billion in property damage every year. And it's one of the biggest hazards that your house can face. So what's the best way of improving your odds? Some say keeping your windows open during a hurricane will do less structural damage because the wind can travel through unimpeded, while others claim that keeping them shut will protect the interior of your home. So the question is, Windows open or windows closed? Which does more damage during a hurricane? We've ripped the front doors off the house, found three high-powered industrial fans that are blowing into the building. We're gonna add some debris and some water, figure out just how hazardous a hurricane with open windows can be. All right, let's do this! Bring it! Oh! What you got? You got debris? What, what you got? Bring on the hur hurricane! What, what you got? You ain't got no nothing! Bring on the hurricane! This is where I'm gonna be when we turn the fans on. I've got a debris launcher, a variety of debris, and my favorite crew member, Chris. All right, Dan, you ready? Yes, sir! All right, guys, we're gonna hit! These fans produce wind speeds of 80 miles per hour. The same as a Category 1 hurricane. Strong enough to uproot trees, lift roof shingles, and even topple a mobile home. Windows open during a hurricane, definitely hazardous. I got hit with a ceiling fan! A ceiling fan! I got beat up, the room got beat up. Our hurricane lasted minutes. In reality, hurricanes can last for days. It's a safe bet the inside of the house would be totaled. So now we'll get the windows back on, move all this stuff outside, reset the room. See how hazardous it can be to have those same winds blowing on closed windows. It's gonna be wild. The hazard team is testing how best to protect your home during a hurricane. Keeping the windows open left the living room in shambles. Next up, closed windows. This is my Danikin. Basically a relatively exact replica of myself, down to chiseled jaw and rock-hard skull. This mannequin will function as Dan's stunt double and show you what could happen to anyone taking shelter behind glass in a hurricane. Okay, everybody, fans coming up! The fans quickly fire up 80 mile per hour winds, but the windows hold up. But it's debris, not wind, that causes the most damage in a hurricane. So Dan and Francesca are adding some of their own. One of the deadliest, a 15 pound two by four. Come hurricane time, these beams can become lethal missiles. Traveling at 100 miles per hour, they easily punch through drywall, brick, even steel. So let's see how Dan's double fares. Man, that's a hurricane! Oh my god, there is glass Look everywhere. The tricycle! Dude, oh. this is insane. The high-speed camera reveals how the mannequin was completely impaled by the 2x4. Had it been a real human, 
This blow absolutely would have been fatal. With the windows in or without the windows, it was equally as dangerous. In the end, whatever Mother Nature is throwing at you, you're not going to be able to escape it. You can try to close your windows. You can open your windows. In the end, you're better to just board them up and get out. Absolutely.